Hi, I'm Jill Rupp from June Taylor. Now that your quilt top is sewn, it's time for the fun, the actual quilting. But first we need to sandwich our batting between our backing and our quilt top. And to do that, it's a very tedious process. People have used the pinning method or the basting gun method. June Taylor has a real easy solution called quilt basting spray. And this spray can be used to secure all three layers together on both your cotton batting or your polyester batting. If you use a basting spray and smooth things over, it'll keep all those layers very flat and secure, so your quilting will be beautiful. The first step is make sure you're working in a well-ventilated area. Then cover everything with some kind of craft paper or newspaper, something to protect your surface, and you might even want to put something on the floor if you're working on a table to protect your carpeting below. That's just in case there's any overspray. Next thing you're going to do is take your batting and find the center of your batting. And what we did is we just took our batting and folded in half the long way, folded it in half again the short way. This corner right here is the center. And what you're going to do is mark in both directions from the center of the quilt on both sides. So you can see we have a little X in the center. That is marking the crosshairs so we know exactly where the center of the quilt is. And then again, we have it also marked on the other side. First of all, we're gonna make sure that we shake the can. And then working about 12 inches away from the batting, go ahead and spray. It doesn't need to be a lot of spray. You just wanna make sure that you have the surface covered. I'm working on what's going to be the back. And then what I'm going to do is I have my backing fabric. I've also folded that into four. And what I'm going to do is now line up that X on my fold. And the great thing about this spray is it's repositionable. So what I can do next is fold it over like this. And I have these guidelines perfectly to tell me exactly where, if you get if you get this this little bit of, you can smooth that over, and then let's put some toward the top here, like this. And again, now that our backing is secure, we're going to flip over, and we're going to spray the front where our quilt top will be secured. So again, working with that can about 12 inches away, nice even spray, and note I've got my lines in the center here. My quilt top is folded into fours, so let's line that up with my lines here and here, and to the side. There we go. Again, let's reposition this till it's nice and smooth. Pull this down a little bit. So what normally would take several hours to do with a pin, we got done in no time with our quilt basting spray and we're ready for the fun part. We're ready to do our quilting. Quilt basting spray also works great for machine embroidery and we use it along with our hoop. So instead of putting our fabric in the hoop, we put just a stabilizer in the hoop like you see here and then put on a little bit of our quilt basting spray like this. And then what we're going to do in this t-shirt, for example, is we're just gonna float the fabric on top. So we'll actually put the hoop inside the fabric top like this. And then, say I want this in the center, I can actually just secure it down like that. And it's perfectly positioned and ready for machine embroidery. Everyone needs a good temporary adhesive in their workroom, but the June Taylor Quilt Basting Spray is not only great for quilting quilts, it's great for all your other projects, whether you're a sewer or a crafter or a quilter. Now I'm going to go quilt this beautiful hexagon quilt.